What's up, it's Jimbo from Medicheck Pull, and today we're gonna be looking at this guy, this guy. It's the Mech 15 G3 from Electronic, and it's possibly the best value laptop that you can get right now for World of Warcraft and productivity. All right, before we even start talking about any of the specs, why should you give a shit about this laptop? First, because mechanical keyboard on a laptop, I don't think I've ever seen it before this one, and now I think some companies are starting to roll them out, but that's pretty crazy. It has two GPUs, a 2070, as well as an integrated graphics so you can get better battery life when you're not gaming. And then it has one of the best looking displays that I've ever seen on a laptop at 144 Hertz IPS. It's absolutely a beast of a laptop and this video will explain why. All right, let's start going over some stats. First, you'll notice that this thing is not too big, but it's also not the smallest laptop that I've seen. It has uh, dimensions of about 10 by 14 with less than an inch thick. And the weight is under five pounds which to me means that you can take it anywhere. You can take it to work, friend's house, wherever you want. They say it's built with a completely new durable aluminum chassis that contains the latest in technology and thermal design and all this other crap, whatever any of that means. But the real deal is that it has a little bit of a plasticky sound, but it's like hard plastic. Like this feels like this thing is gonna last forever. The hinge doesn't seem yeah, the hinge doesn't seem like it's gonna break anytime soon. And it feels really durable, really sturdy. Maybe not as durable and sturdy as maybe a uh, MacBook Pro feels, but it's, you know, it's definitely not a cheap feeling laptop. It definitely has some girth to it. And I feel like this is the, is the real deal. It's gonna last a while. All right, let's talk about the keyboard. So one of the reasons why I bought this thing is for the mechanical keyboard. And the fact is, I don't notice a fucking difference. I don't notice the difference at all. I feel like it's actually a little gimmicky because maybe you can get the key travel to be less than a normal laptop, but ultimately it's not the best when it comes to typing on documents. I'm just being real with you. If you're doing a lot of email and a lot of documents and a lot of typing and all that other shit, mechanical keyboard is basically a gimmick. Doesn't do anything for my gameplay. And I feel like it's actually a little bit worse especially when you compare it to like a MacBook Pro or something like that. It's not a, it's not the best keyboard in the world. However, it looks gorgeous and it is durable as shit, okay? So I've been using this thing for a couple months now and I can tell you right now, there is absolutely no wear and tear. The colors on the RGB are fantastic. And when it comes to solid durability, this thing is gonna last forever. It's the keyboard as well, but don't get the laptop because mechanical, it literally didn't do anything to help me out at all. And the trackpad is pretty damn nice, I gotta say. Okay, so this is the one of the things that I was most nervous about when switching from an Apple computer, right? Because Apple, the Apple laptops have the best trackpad, trackpad, the best trackpad in the world. No joke, like it has by far the best trackpad. Their trackpad technology is wild. And this thing is something that I can say for sure is the best trackpad that I have used on any Windows PC ever. Now it has a bunch of cool little functions. It obviously has the two buttons at the bottom that you can, you can convert the trackpad to have like two little sections so that when you hit the bottom, it's always left click or right click. I disable that. I like the one finger, two finger, just like the Mac. Uh, you can also disable the trackpad, which is dope if you're using a mouse. That allows you to not hit anything on accident while you're gaming, doing all your stuff. Um, I wouldn't use it for gaming, but who would use a trackpad for gaming? That's a little weird. But for the most part, I feel like this trackpad is fantastic. Fantastic. So now let's get into the benchmarks. Probably what you skipped forward to anyways. So this has a 2070 like we talked about earlier. And I gotta say, I played Overwatch on this thing. I played Warzone on high settings, steady. I played World of Warcraft, really solid, really good performance when it comes to FPS. This is the main reason why I think this laptop is worth everything. The thermals are awesome. The fan gets real loud, not gonna lie. The fan gets pretty damn loud if you let it, um, but you can control that in the settings by itself. However, the performance is insane. I've edited 4K video with this. I've done After Effects animations with this. 
it handles everything beautifully for productivity for gaming fps this thing is a beast when it comes to benchmarking as you can see from the overlays that i just put up but hey they also have office mode for anyone who wants to take this and also work maybe go to panera you don't want your fans zoom into the moon like the other modes if you're trying to push the highest performance possible out of your computer i wouldn't be using office mode for that but it's there i think it's awesome it keeps the fans down it keeps you a little bit incognito stealth mode rogue style all right let's go around this beast talk about the inputs and outputs all right first boom we got usb type c we got a microphone and headphone jack we also got a lock key for someone who wants that um we got usb thunderbolt type c on the back this is another major reason why i bought this thing you need the type c you need it hdmi out you got the ethernet out as well then you got the power connector on that side on the other side which is all right as we've learned from earlier you have an sd slot which is awesome for me content creator love being able to put my sd slot right into the computer so i don't have to get any dongles or adapters apple you should learn some shit from that and then we have two more usb type a's on the right side as well ports are awesome got plenty of them the usb type c is a major bonus for me having the headphones and the microphone be separate is a bummer i think they should have just had that be an all-in-one like every other laptop ever um yeah that's a big miss but you know they have the bluetooth connection and all that other stuff so you don't really have to worry about it as for the camera the camera's okay it's an under camera so it captures the uh the nose as they say and uh it looks all right it looks all right it's it's gonna get you by it's gonna be okay for your zoom meetings and your discord chats and stuff like that your only fan it's gonna be really good for all that type of stuff it's you know it's an under nose cam shitty get a webcam if you want better quality all right for storage I got the 512 version. It goes up to like a terabyte or something like that. Uh, 512 is enough for me because you got the USB type C that we talked about earlier. So you can have as much external storage as you want. All right, for the battery, it is a 94 watt hour six cell battery that is basically giant, okay? This thing is gonna last you a good three, four, five hours. Now, let me talk about this power supply. Hold on, give me a second. The battery life being as awesome as it is, doesn't make up for how awful and big this thing is. What the fudge, okay? Why do we need a brick these days? Like, come on, have you not learned from other companies that you don't need, this is insane. Like, I don't wanna have to carry uh, the laptops under five pounds, but that thing feels like it's also five pounds. It's ridiculous. They need to do something about that. Anyways, after you charged it, the battery is pretty amazing. Most people don't care about how big or heavy the charger is. I just think it's ridiculous. It's unnecessary. All right, so another reason why I bought this thing, and this might not matter to you at first, but trust me, it matters. The screen is a 100% sRGB rated. So if you're into video production, if you're into graphic design, if you're into Photoshop, anything like that, this screen is gorgeous. The best screen that I've seen on a Windows PC ever. This screen is the reason, the main reason why I bought this laptop. I cannot tell you enough. It looks good. That's it. All right, what are my final thoughts? So the keyboard is good. Mechanical's a gimmick. Don't buy it if your only reason is mechanical. I think that the screen is absolutely fantastic. There has never been a better screen on a laptop, in my opinion, outside of the Mac lineup. Um, the touchpad is amazing. The battery life is amazing. It's just a great laptop. It's just a really good one. I can definitely recommend this one. Now, let me know. You're already gonna. I already know what's gonna happen. I'm gonna miss 50 different things because it is a tech review and tech people don't fuck around. Listen, I'm a tech guy too. I'm recording this video. I don't know what I forgot. I'm not going to know until you guys tell me. And then I'm like, oh, I didn't talk about the 16 gigs of RAM. Shit. <laughs> All right, and that's pretty much it. Let me know what you thought in the comments below. Be nice. 
uh, and come to the Ready Check Pull Discord. We help out with everything from gaming and World of Warcraft to what types of PCs you should buy, what types of laptops you should buy. There's a big giant community that we're building over there. It's pretty damn awesome. So come check it out. See you all in the next one. Boom!